An elephant, even an old one. Knows how to handle it. What? Cats. Bezaki. Bezaki. How big is the beton block? 48.8 hectares. 48.8 hectares. 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 Very good. Remember the first day I came to the ministry. Ajaribukusi nana nami mina kutembea. Very good. And the soil, this soil is very fertile. Very fertile. This one. Farm the soil already. Kanyangi, bravo. Kanyangi kono wazi. Na papa. Na papa. Chakuliwa. So was it we are from water? Oh yes. Now? Yes. From the richness of earth leaf, every substance necessary for life and direct their desires to the fruits of thy mercy. At our entrance, therefore, may you bless and sanctify these houses, bless them when they come in, and bless them when they go out. May the angels of your light dwell within the walk of these houses. Protect them, O Lord, and those who dwell therein. As a service, Kenya Forest Service, we say thank you for the resources and all provisions that we required to accomplish this good work which we today celebrate. Bless the contractor and his team. The key, we're about, he has to hand it to me. Oh, okay. Yes. 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 So, okay. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes. Oh, she can do it. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Okay. Um, we are in these rooms, two rooms, the kitchen, the other two, and then like that. Just to slap me for a moment. Kariako Tobiko, our cabinet secretary, uh, Peter uh, Kinyua, the chairman of KFS, and the board members present for KFS, the CCF, all the staff of KFS, uh, distinguished uh, guests, ladies and gentlemen. My role this morning is simple. I'm going to invite the cabinet secretary to make his remarks on behalf of the ministry. And as he comes on board, I just want to say that as the accounting officer of the ministry, 
uh, I'm very happy that uh, there's good progress, especially in this Green Zones project. This project, uh, Green Zones, is one of the 55 projects in our ministry. And uh, we know that mobility of our staff is key. The, we have given a lot of work to KFS. They have been around su supporting us in ensuring that we green the city. My colleagues of principal secretaries have been around here planting trees here and there. And we want to thank the CCF for making sure that uh, this work has gone on smoothly. And next week we have rolled out uh, many other pr uh, planting uh, activities and we thank the, 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 the team from KFS for organizing. Otherwise, uh, I don't want to say much because my CS will say more for the ministry. And I therefore take this opportunity to welcome you, sir, to come and address us. Thank you. Good morning. Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Environment and Forestry, Honorable Kiriako Tobiko. The Principal Secretary, Ministry of Environment and Forestry, Dr. Chris Kipto. KFS board members present. We have Director Laitoro and Director um, Barmao. The Chief Conservator of Forests, Julius Kamau. The Deputy General Manager, China Roads and Bridges, Mr. Jetty Zhao. The Deputy Managing Director, China Road and Bridges, Chao Yun. Chairman Gong Road Forest Community Forest Association, Simon Wood. Senior Management, Kenya Forest Service, present. Head of Conservancies, Project Manager, G GZDSP. Ecosystem Conservators, members of the Fourth Estate, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to join you here today on this auspicious occasion whose twin objective is one, to take over two forest rangers house units constructed through collaboration with China Roads and Bridges, um, CRBC. These houses have been built by CRBC and presented to KFS. They were built free of charge. So it is a presence to us as Kenya Forest Service. Flagging off of 26 units of double cabin pickups to the field, which have been acquired through support from Green Zones Development Support Project, supported by African Development Bank and the Government of Kenya. Kenya Forest Service is a service-oriented public entity whose mandate is to develop and sustainably manage all forest resources in the country. Consequently, we should all appreciate that it requires enormous resources to actualize the services statutory obligation. Specifically, our infrastructure requires requirements are beyond the prevailing budgetary provision by the government. It is worth noting that as KFS, our orientation is geared towards service delivery as opposed to profit, profit generation. It is therefore gratifying that the African, that the African Development Bank through G ZDPS Project Phase 2 and China Roads and Bridges Corporation have today made significant contributions to the service. The forest area we are in today, Mitoni Forest Block, is one of the few urban forests in Nairobi and it is, critically, it, it, it is critical for the provision of environmental goods, uh, goods and services. The block covers an area of 48 Point eight hectares and is part of the larger Ngong Road forest with a total of 1,224.4 hectares. The block, which has two dams and a seasonal Mutoni River, is a key outdoor recreation facility for local residents. It also hosts a CFA tree nursery and a China Road and Bridges company camp. I wish to thank Ngong Road CFA for erecting an electric fence around the forest and deploying forest scouts to assist in forest protection. The construction of the new houses by CRBC Kenya Limited for free will ensure that henceforth forest rangers are going to be permanently based in the forest block. This will greatly improve the security in the forest 
and we are grateful for the gesture. Thank you. The handing over of the two houses pave way for CRBC to implement other infrastructural works outlined in the firm's special use agreement made on 27th March 2019. Green Zones Development Support Project Phase 2. I will now make some re remarks on this support. The project is funded by the Government of Kenya and the African Development Bank at a cost of 55 million US dollars. It was commissioned last year in 2019 at a critical time when the country's momentum was and still remains geared towards achieving the 10% forest cover as espoused in the Constitution. The project, which will be implemented in 15 counties around three water towers of the Mao, Mount Kenya, and Alvarez, will focus on forest conservation, community livelihood, and food security, all of which are critical in fulfilling the country's quest of being climate change resilient. This six-year program shall help in the propagation of 60 million tree seedlings and support reforestation and afforestation of 36,000 hectares of degraded landscape, both in government forests as well as community farmlands. Further, in partnership with community forest associations, the project shall, shall also protect an additional 311,000 hectares of natural forest for natural regeneration. Turning to infrastructure development, the project will renew the aging fleet of vehicles as exemplified today with the commissioning of the first batch of 26 double cabin vehicles. I'm informed that in the near future, more investments will be made in procuring additional vehicles for the project. As we hand over these vehicles, I want to sound a warning to our field officers to prudently use the vehicles for the intended official duties. And anyone who flouts this directive shall be faced with disciplinary procedures. Other infrastructural supports for the project include the construction of four rangers camps and three resource centers that will also house the Kenya Forest Service field offices. The project shall also undertake forest, forest road rehabilitation and construction of bridges. Finally, on behalf of Kenya Forest Service, let me once again extend our sincere gratitude to the African Development Bank and China Road and Bridges Corporation for this boost in KFS's infrastructural capacity. We call upon our partners to come on board and be part of the forest conservation journey for the sake of current and future generations. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank Sandev Choda, a neighbor of this forest, who have donated to us a solar system. Um, the, light, the, the houses are lit, and they have donated a solar system worth Kenya shillings, 200,000. Thank you very much. Thank you, and God bless. Um, I'll also take this opportunity now to, to invite our Permanent Secretary for Environment and Forestry, Mr. Kipto. Our Chief Guest this morning, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Environment and Forestry, Honorable Kereko Tobiko. Our Permanent Secretary, Principal Secretary, uh, Dr. Chris Kipto, Minister of Environment and Forestry. Our Chairman of the Board, Kenya Forest Service, Mr. Peter Kenyua. Other two board members with us here today, I recognize uh, Vitoro and Banao. We also have the Deputy Manager for China Road and Bridge, Jetty Jiao. Also the entire fraternity from China Road and Bridge. We have the Chairman of Gong Road CFA. We have the Senior Managers of the Kenya Forest Service. We have the Project Manager Green Zones project, an entire fraternity from the ECs and HOCs who are here, and the entire family. Before the state and all of us, good morning. It will give me privilege and honor again.
to be able to host you again, uh, Cabinet Secretary, in Gong Road. After we had a series of hosting very eminent occasions from the Arboretum, the last time we were in uh, City Park during the Pacific Day, and today we are here in Gong Road, and all these forests are green spaces in the urban setting. We really feel humbled to ask Kenya Forest Service family to host you. One, to have received the two rangers unit, and also you have been able to open and commission them. We take pride, and at this time I would want to appreciate our chairman of the board, uh, Mr. Peter Kenywa, who went out of the way to engage with the China Road and Bridges to bring a partnership that was not obvious. And therefore we really are privileged to have a chairman of the board who normally go out of the way to really complement the efforts of the management. And beyond that also, sir, we are also here because of the Green Zone project, phase two. And as you would appreciate, conservation, protection, and management of forest resources, which is now more than 2.5 million hectares in the country, is a momentous task. It requires partnership, it requires collaboration, it requires complementarity, it requires cooperation from all the partners and government agencies towards the delivery of that mandate. It also require a very firm and solid financing mechanism to be able to operate these areas, including the human resource capital and management and administration. And therefore, it is something that Kenya Forest Service has embraced in the reality that for us to ensure the sustainable management of the resources, basically, basically require a very solid base to be able to run all this. And therefore, in realizing that we have limited resources as a country through the exchequer, we have to be innovative enough to be able to pull partnerships, to be able to come and support us. And since 2006, when we had the Green Zone Project Phase 2, and which was able to support of, uh, to the tune of about 1.8 billion, and some of the two outcomes that that man was able to do between 2006 and 2014 was actually to rehabilitate and restore about 277,000 hectares of our forest ecosystem. That's a big, big, big achievement from that project of the first phase. And two, a very big footprint of a fleet of about 32 vehicles, among them four trucks, which I think Wazir, you have seen some of them working in Mishuki Park. It also emanates from the phase one of the Green Zone project. It actually has highly complemented the efforts of the Kenya Forest Service through the other normal program to be able to help us to conserve and protect our forest resources. Now, the performance of that Green Phase project, phase one, it was excellent. And I'm happy that, sir, you were able to receive the mission that came to evaluate the first phase of the project and they were very happy. And due to that success performance, we were able also to now attract about, what I may say, about six, about 55 million US dollars. Of course, 50 million US dollars from the Green Zone, and that is African Development Bank, who are the financiers, and also the government of Kenya, about five million US dollars for a period of six years. And we are now in the first year of the second phase. And you can see the kind of footprint that this project, phase two, will make. Today, we are here to launch and flag off about 26 roadworthy vehicles, double cab Toyota, to go to the failures stations in about 15 counties, which is the scope of this project. And the other day, we were able to receive about 4,000 assorted units to go and support our nursery operations in all these areas. And therefore, it's a project which actually come and appreciate the Big Four agenda. The uniqueness of this project to Waziri is that beyond the forest conservation and management, we appreciate the role that the forest adjacent communities do. If we don't support their livelihood improvement, if you don't ensure that they are secure in their food in their food supplies, then they will come to forest to be able to get the livelihood. And therefore the project is supporting conservation of our forest ecosystem, but again also going out of the forest in adjacent community in all these counties to support livelihood and actually issues to do with income generating activities and issues to do with ensuring that these communities are food secure, which very much speak to the one of the big four agenda. 
Beyond that, it is providing a lot of impacts. For example, it is estimated that this project will be able to have a direct impact of about 500,000 people and that they are able to raise the income per year to about 90,000 Kenya shares. And therefore, this is something that we are really proud of as Kenya Forest Service. And therefore, without taking much time, I would want to thank everyone and ask all Kenyans of goodwill to come and join our spirit of Kenya Forest Service to be able to protect our resources, but more so plant and grow more tree within the public and the farmland. Because that's the only way we can be able to achieve the directive of the president by 2022 to have attained 10% tree cover. Therefore, I would wish to stop there, but also take this honor and privilege to invite the chairman of the Kenya Forest Service Board to come and make his remark. Thank you so much and may God bless you.